Platforms like Airtable and BaseRow use Markdown in their rich text, which is a great format, but browsers only know how to render HTML. Well, today, I'm excited to announce a new component in Web Studio called Markdown Embed. It not only converts your Markdown to HTML, but it also enables you to style all of the child elements, for example, your headers and lists. I'm really excited about this one, so let's show it off. This is a base row table that I have a bunch of data for headless CMSs to help compare them. In this column, I have my rich text, and I'm going to edit this field to show that I have enabled rich text formatting. Now when I open these fields, I'm able to use rich text. So I can add a bullet point, for example. And even though this doesn't look like Markdown, it is, and I'll show you that in a moment. And you can actually use Markdown too. So if I wanted to add a header right here, this is my heading too, I can do that. All right, so I have my data all set. Now let's switch over to Web Studio, and this data is pulling in from that base row. So this is all that same data. I just don't have my rich text field in there yet. First, I wanna show you kind of the, the wrong way or the reason that we need this. I'm gonna add an HTML embed for right now. This is not the new component. I just wanna show you what the data looks like if I were to pull it in without any conversion. I'm gonna grab that field and close out of here. And we can see that there's these hashes, dashes. This is all just markdown, and it's not really useful unless if it's converted. So let's get rid of that and add the new component, markdown embed located in data. And click this and do the same thing I did before. Just grab that data I have coming from base row and specifically the rich text field. And now we can see that it's converted into HTML, but there's more. We can go over to our markdown embed in the navigator and style all the different elements in our markdown. So for example, for my list, I wanna make this a little bit fancy and use my list icons token. And then on each individual list item, I'm gonna use my list icon token. And now I have check marks. And we can continue on styling all the elements using the style panel, the way that we style the rest of our website. And I have something very similar in Airtable. I've got a body field with the rich text enabled right here. And I've got some bullet points going on in here. If I switch over to Web Studio Airtable page, I want to add that column. So I'm going to add a new component, look for my markdown embed component, head over to settings. And I could type markdown directly in here. Probably 99% of the use cases, though, are going to be you connecting this to some external data source. And it could just be straight up Markdown, too. I mean, if you just have a Markdown document somewhere, you're able to bring that in and render it out. And so let's grab my body field and see that it automatically converts it. And then I can also style it right here. Markdown is a really elegant way to store data. Some platforms do it without you really knowing about it. And other platforms enable you to type Markdown because you want to use it. In either of the cases, Web Studio's new component, Markdown Embed, enables you to convert the Markdown to HTML and design out all of the elements. This is a really exciting addition to Web Studio because it improves the ecosystem compatibility. Whether you want to use Base Row, Airtable, some Markdown documents you have stored somewhere and actually display and style the rich text, it's now possible natively in Web Studio with the Markdown Embed component. Well, I hope you build something really cool with this and we'll see you in the next one.